Espresso machines with heat exchange boilers. They allow for simultaneous espresso extraction and milk frothing, making them the gateway into prosumer level equipment for home espresso enthusiasts. Hey espresso lovers, Mark here from Whole Latte Love. Today an in-depth comparison of three of my favorite semi-automatic machines with heat exchange boilers. We've got the Expo Bar Office Lever, my pick for performance value. The Profitech Pro 500, which is beautiful and refined inside and out, and the Rocket Espresso Giotto, the heat exchange machine with PID available in rotary and vibration pump versions. We'll take a close look inside the machines, go over individual features, and hopefully help you decide which might best fit your needs. If you're not familiar with the boiler types, a quick review. The three types are in ascending cost and capabilities order, single boiler dual use, heat exchange, and dual boiler. With single boilers, there's always some waiting between brewing espresso and steaming milk as the boiler has to be at one temperature for espresso and then heat up to produce steam. With a heat exchange boiler, there's no waiting. Steam is always available and lower temperature water for brewing comes from an isolated section within the boiler. You can see how that works in this cutaway model of a heat exchange boiler. Hot water and steam in the boiler transfer heat to the brew water which flows through that separate section within the boiler. The next step up is a dual boiler which has two independent boilers, one for brewing and another for steam and hot water. With heat exchange boilers you get more convenience and consistency. There's no waiting. With a single boiler machine it can take a minute or more to get up to steaming temperature and you'll have better control of brew temps too. Single boiler machines can be all over the place with regard to brew temperatures. The machines we'll look at have a wide price and feature range. Some basics they have in common all have an E61 thermosiphon brew group. Using thermodynamics, hot water from the boiler constantly circulates through the group to improve temperature stability. All have dual gauges. One shows boiler pressure and one displays brew pressure and all have no burn wands on articulating connections for dispensing water and steaming milk. So what's different? Well let's start with the Expo Bar office lever. Again, my pick for best value in a heat exchange machine. If you read some owner reviews, common comments are things like best build quality for the price and for the money this machine is hard to beat. And that's really true. There are no other heat exchange machines of this quality near this price. The lever is equipped with a 1.5 liter copper boiler fed by a 2.75 liter water reservoir. There is a plus model which connects directly to household plumbing for a never ending water supply so you won't have to fill a reservoir. A vibration pump moves water and brew pressure is adjustable via the OPV which is accessible behind the drip tray. Like all Expo Bar machines, the office lever has a custom pre-infusion chamber milled into the E61 group behind the shower screen. As an extraction starts, some water drops onto the coffee as that chamber fills and with that extra space, pressure builds more slowly than on a standard E61. The Pre-wetting and pressure ramp up acts as a type of pre-infusion which may improve extractions and help prevent channeling in the coffee puck yielding more consistent extractions. We like more consistent extractions. And now in use I love Expo Bar's angled porta filters. I find they are easier to attach but what I really like is how the angle makes them perfectly horizontal when tamping. Now other companies make angled porta filters but they are almost always a few degrees off horizontal. It's a little thing but perfect horizontal orientation helps improve tamping consistency. The frame and exterior case of the machine are nearly identical to that of Expo Bar's dual boiler Brutus machines. Compared to the Profitech and the Rocket we'll look at, it's not as refined but it is rock solid with some of the thickest gauge metal you'll find in a machine case. Steam is delivered through a no burn wand and stock single hole tip. Hot water and steam are knob controlled through standard valves. The Profitech Pro 500 steps up the exterior finish quality with more detailed craftsmanship, 
metal edges are rolled and on close inspection you notice even the drip trays internal seams are finished to a level beyond what you'll see in most machines. A standout feature of the Profitech are the massive valves. I love the square profile and they are sprung. Very easy to operate, about a quarter turn from closed to fully open. And being sprung, they are low wear. You don't have to crank these valves down to turn them off. Inside the Pro 500, a two liter stainless steel boiler is the largest in this group of machines. What I appreciate inside the Profitech is simple and effective engineering with attention to detail. Touches like a braided stainless line running off the vibration pump, which helps reduce noise, a commercial grade Sarai pressure stat, copper piping with short runs. Under the hood, this is a well put together machine with quality components. Next up, the Rocket Espresso Giotto, and I'm going to include their Mozafiato machine as well. The only real difference in the two is the exterior case. The Moza Fiato has straight side panels with an integrated cup rail, while the Giotto has angular side panels and a separate cup rail. Each machine is available in a Type V version with a vibration pump or the Evoluzione R version which has a rotary pump and can connect directly to household plumbing for a constant water supply. These rocket machines are fairly unique. They're heat exchange machines with PID temperature control. PID in a heat exchange machine, it's not very common. Now, if you're not familiar with PID, what it does is allow for very precise temperature control. That works great in dual boiler machines with a dedicated brew boiler, but it's a little trickier in a heat exchange machine because the main boiler is running significantly hotter than the brew temp. For example, to get 200 degree brew water on the Giotto, you set the PID to 248 degrees. In our testing, using a SCASE device, the rockets produced consistent brew temps. One thing to note, rocket takes a different approach with a PID showing the actual temperature in Fahrenheit or Celsius in the brew boiler. Most PID equipped machines show a calculated brew temp using an offset from the in boiler temperature. So on the rocket, you choose your desired brew temp, then reference a chart in the manual to determine the PID setting, which will be much higher to get that brew temperature at the group head. With most heat exchange machines, you do a cooling flush prior to mounting the portafilter and pulling a shot. That's not the case with the Giotto and Moza Fiato. In our tests, we got the set brew temp without a flush. Depending on how you look at it, that's either a feature or a limitation. A feature in that you're getting very accurate brew temps, a limitation in that you can't quickly try a higher brew temp by using a shorter flush. For those who've worked with other heat exchange machines, you will probably need to adjust your technique a bit for the rockets. Rocket machines go heavy on the branding from feet resembling rocket engine nozzles to badging front and back and the iconic R on the steam knob. Standard valves feed no burn steam and hot water wands all come with a stock two hole steam tip. The PID controller and display is hidden behind the drip tray. Casework is refined and is similar to the Profitech in quality. There are some slight differences. On the rocket, the drip tray frame is spot welded to the main chassis. On the Profitech, no welds. It's a continuous frame front to back. Rocket machines come with an actual usable tamper and of course it's etched with their logo. The other machines come with plastic tampers which you'll want to replace right away. Inside the rockets, the copper boiler is 1.8 liters. The internal plumbing is a little more complex with more components and longer runs than you have in the Pro 500. In the long term, you know, I'm a, I'm a fan of the simpler engineering using fewer components. It's generally going to add up to better reliability. So, recommendations. If you're looking for value, you know, you really can't do better than the Expo Bar office lever. There's nothing comparable on a price performance basis. It's a solid machine with a long track record. The Profitech Pro 500 offers a more refined finish quality, superior valves, and the Keep it simple engineering that's elegant and reliable. The Rocket Giotto and Moza Fiato add some flash with the unmistakable branding, unique PID control, and plumbable rotary pump driven options. Just be aware that those options start getting you into the price range of full-on dual boiler PID machines. Now, if you have more questions on these machines or anything coffee, use those comments and I'll be sure to get you the answers. I'm Mark, thanks for watching, and I hope you'll subscribe and come back soon for more of the best on everything coffee, brought to you by Whole Latte Love.
Want to learn more? Subscribe now so you'll know about the latest videos on everything coffee from Whole Latte Love. Oh.